Hi guys, welcome back to the Piston Show. Very special model that I want to talk to you about right now. Guys, this is Malaysia's first homegrown EV by Perodua. They're calling it the MO. It is spelt as such, but it is pronounced as MO, which basically stands for Electric Motion Online. We don't know a lot about this car, but we suspect that Perudua has a development partner. When we asked them who the development partner was, they couldn't specify, in fact, they didn't want to specify. But since Perudua, Daihatsu, you know, are they in bed with Daihatsu to, for the development of the MO? We don't quite know. But we do know that they are very far ahead in their R&D as well as their development. Which means that we might see this car perhaps in the next two to three years, perhaps sooner. We do hope that it's sooner because it seems very, very exciting. This design, Perudua says, is going to be as close to the real car as possible. Which means that it actually looks quite good. Perudua does say too that it's going to be a 2 plus 2 car, which makes it an even more exciting. The front grille is obviously very, very cool. It has a very spot, spot, spotty character, a very dynamic character. Check out the side view mirror, how small and pointy it is. Lamborghini, perhaps some inspiration from there. But there are a couple of things that we do know. We do know that it's going to be in the B segment market. We also do know that it will have a top speed of 160 kilometers per hour. We also know that it will have a range of between 300 to 350 kilometers per hour. Uh, 300 to 350 kilometers. I'm not quite sure whether that is a WLTP range though. Besides that, I can also tell you that Perudua has confirmed that it will have a 0 to 100 km per hour acceleration time of just 10 seconds. Besides that, it will have 95 horsepower and 121 newton meters of torque. The battery specifications, now this gets exciting because it's going to be boasting a lithium ion battery with capable of a charging capacity of 300 kilowatts. It will have a capacity, a battery, the battery will have a capacity of 50 kilowatts per hour and it will have a charger compatibility of between 400 to 800 volts, which is very impressive. Th that does mean though, that it's capable of fast charging. Speaking of that, it has a maximum charging time of 7 hours 30 minutes. I'm guessing that's uh, either on an 11 kilowatt or 12 kilowatt uh, uh, charger. But if you have access to a 300 kilowatt ultra fast charger, the new Perudua MO will need just 20 minutes to charge up to full. Perudua did show us a short video and we are going to insert that video clip right after this. So that's all we know about Perudua's future of mobility for now. We are very excited for them. Why? Because Perudua did say that when they do introduce this car, it's going to be targeted at the B40 group that earns somewhere between the 5,800 ringgit region. That means, and I suspect, it's going to be Malaysia's first homegrown sub 100,000 ringgit electric vehicle. Well done to Perudua. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the following video.